Um, my creative self really became um, what it is now and what I keep growing uh, when I started to throw like local hip-hop events and uh, that was through this like magazine that I ran for four years called Mania. It was started with uh, my friend at the time, Lucille Zarifa, and finished off with another uh, friend, Orla Adams. So in that, I got together communities of people uh, through gallery shows and uh, big variety shows with, like dance acts and then uh, all different things, marketplaces, and I started to realize just how much my creative self is tied with community and how I want to explore what I like to do, which is painting and jewelry and fashion and performance, but in a way that engages everyone else around me and creates a culture. So about almost two years ago now, a year and a half, I, I put all of that under Pattern Nation. And I, I, you know, I, I paint patterns, I wear patterns, I make patterns into my clothing, and I think each culture has patterns that they um, identify with, and we can all come together on that common understanding. So through that, I mean, myself as an artist is great, but it's not about me. It's about um, creating spaces where maybe I've painted the walls or I've styled the artists but, and the models. Um, but it's like a vibe, that flow where you're in a space and sure there's, there may be substances, there may be drinking, but you're there to like engage, to dance, to meet like-minded people and it's intergenerational. You know, we've had like six-year-olds birthday parties and like women in their like 50s to 70s meeting with like our peers. So I think that is really important, you know? Um, so that's what inspires me, I think.